Hello, Kirkwood High School. A quick check-in from Dr. Havener before we begin our virtual learning tomorrow, March 26th. First thing is first, we want to say hello. We miss you, your teachers, your administrators, the support staff. We all are thinking of you and can't wait to see you back on campus as soon as possible. Uh, and we're going to be okay during this process. We're going to get through it. We're going to be better and we're going to come out of this healthy, happy, and safe. So uh, very, very important to know that you are missed and we can't wait to see each and every one of you back on campus. A lot of great questions, a lot of hard work has been going into preparing for tomorrow. And uh, I wanna make sure that uh, I give a shout out to the Kirkwood High School teachers who have been working tirelessly on preparing for tomorrow. Parents, students, a big thank you to our teachers. They are outstanding. And what I have seen up to this point, I am in awe of what they've been able to create uh, to prepare for tomorrow. So a huge thank you to our teachers. They have hit a grand slam and I, I know that you're going to be impressed on uh, the virtual learning that they are prepared for. Um, some of them during their spring break, um, all the way leading up to uh, tomorrow morning. So a uh, big thank you to our teachers. Uh, if you have not heard from a teacher yet, you will be hearing from a teacher, um, students uh, between now and tomorrow. Most of you have already heard from them, but again, um, if you have not, you're gonna be hearing from them uh, very, very shortly on what their plans are um, during this process. A lot of great questions, as I've said. Um, thank you. Can, continue to have them um, sent to uh, your principals, your teachers, any staff member. Uh, honestly, it has made us better. It has made us think about some things uh, in preparing for tomorrow and the next couple of weeks. Um, so thank you to everyone who's been communicating up to this point. Let me emphasize, continue to communicate. Um, it, it makes everything better. This may have some bumps in the road and that's okay. This is a learning experience for all of us. Um, so um, please be patient. Um, know that our intentions are to help every single student um, succeed during this time, uh, but we know this is something new and there was not a lot of time to prepare for it, but uh, I think we've got a pretty good handle on it, and I think you're going to, uh, again, be really, really impressed about uh, how we're going to have our virtual learning take place. Let me go through a couple of different things um, that are pretty important here. I wanna show you a website um, that a lot of people have been working uh, extremely hard on preparing for uh, you to answer a lot of your different concerns and questions. If you go on the district website, if you go on Kirkwood High School's website, this is gonna be front and center on that website. It is a lot of information. I don't expect you to memorize all of this information, but this is a good resource that if something's on your mind or you would like some information, you can see all the different um, tabs that we have. You can see the updates that are over here to the right. Something really important is our, our chat room experience right here. If you're having any problems whatsoever with technology in this process, Monday through Friday during normally sc normal school hours, we have a live chat session right now. Right now, uh, Mr. Shockley's on it. He's ready there, ready to support you in any questions that you may have. Again, this is on the website and it's up and running, regular school hours, Monday through Friday. And they are, there's a live person on the other end of that. So that is a, a wonderful support that the district has created as well. Again, a lot of different resources here. Um, take a second, look at it. We're gonna be adding new information daily to this website. Uh, there's, there's information for parents, there's information for students, um, community members, all of that. So again, Kirkwood website, district website, and or Kirkwood High School website. So great resource and thank you for everyone uh, for putting that together for us as well. So let's take a, take a look at what is in store for us starting tomorrow. Students, every single day, we need to start our day off with checking Schoology when it comes to our virtual learning. Everything we do is going to be inside Schoology. 
That doesn't mean that we're going to stay in Schoology the whole time. There may be links. There may be different platforms that teachers are going to use, but they are all going to be linked through our Schoology um, program. So every single day, students, check into your Schoology account, check in by class, each individual class, and more information will be provided, be provided um, underneath the Schoology um, platform. This is a great opportunity, students, for you to teach your parents sometime about what Schoology is if they don't know. Some of them know about Schoology and have been very familiar with it throughout the last year or so, um, and others have not. So take a second, show them what I'm talking about, show them how to navigate through Schoology and what we do uh, inside uh, that program. So uh, you're the teacher on that aspect of Schoology. One of the great questions that I've getting, a lot of great questions, but one of the great questions I'm getting from students is, what's my day going to look like during the week? Wonderful question. There is not one specific answer to answer that question though. Let me give you some examples. First, every teacher is going to have a week at a glance um, on Mondays for you so you can prepare what your week is going to look like in that specific class. Again, so that's really important that you go to Schoology, you go into your classes and get that week at a glance so you can prepare on what that may look like Monday through Friday. Inside that, teachers are gonna do a, a lot of different learning experiences for you. One of those learning experiences is what I'm doing right now, it's called Zoom. Teachers are able to have live classes using this program. If, if, not all teachers are gonna do this, but if a teacher does this, your Zoom live class will occur during your normally scheduled class period on that day. We're following our normal schedule at Kirkwood High School, Monday, Tuesdays, and Fridays, every class one through seven will meet at, this, at their specific time. Wednesdays and Thursdays will be the block days and we'll follow those classes on the block days. Your teachers will lay out a um, calendar for you weekly so you know if you're supposed to have a live class or if you're not. Again, not every teacher is going to have a live class. And if they do, it won't be necessarily every day. So your days could change each individual day on what our expectations are in that class and throughout the day, okay? So your days are gonna look very different on every single class, every single day, and your teachers are gonna communicate what that looks like. What are the mandatory times that you have to be online? Well, if you have a live Zoom class, that's the mandatory time. You need to be in class on that time. If you have a pre-recorded Zoom call, like your teacher did a uh, lesson and you can watch it at any time, watch it when you can watch it. If you have independent work that you need to do, do your independent work when you have time during the day. Here's what I will say. I, if it was me, I would set a calendar weekly to make sure I dedicate time to get things done. I would not wait. If you have independent work, I would not wait till the last minute. Your teachers are gonna be very, very clear on when something is due. And all of you have turned in things over Schoology throughout the year at some point. So you know how to turn in your work. Um, so that won't be a, an issue on turning in work. Again, make plans, sit down, come up with a calendar, if something is live, it's mandatory that you're during that time, during the school day, regular school day hour, that you take that class, make sure that you're online during that time, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. A lot of different ways to go about virtual learning, and that's one of the positive things about virtual learning. A lot of flexibility. Teachers are gonna do a lot of different things. They're gonna communicate exactly their expectations in their class. Make sure you come up with a plan, write down your calendar, Make sure that you follow that, okay? Next question was, what am I, what's my grades gonna look like? Another great question. Parents, this is for you as well. If you go into Infinite Campus, our grade book that most of you, if not all, are familiar with, you're gonna see a tab underneath, or a category, a category in Infinite Campus called e-learning. Everything we do from this point on, if you turn something in from this point on, starting tomorrow, is gonna to go to e-learning. You can monitor your progress in this virtual learning environment by focusing on that category during this time. You can keep track on how you're doing. 
it's going to be very straightforward. Assignment one, your grade. Assignment two, your grade, and so forth. You want that category to be the highest percentage possible during this virtual learning experience. Once we figure out how long this experience is going to be, more information is going to come about your overall semester grade. But I assure you, if you keep up with your work, and I know you will, that your grade is going to be just fine in your classes, okay? The important part is to keep up with your work and turn it in. We don't wanna get into a hole that we've, we didn't turn in our work or we didn't do it. If you need support, communicate with your teachers, communicate with your grade level principal, just make sure you're communicating. You can do this. this is, you're going to be successful with this. Just let us know how we can support you during this process. The next question was about attendance. How do you know if we're doing, if we're logging in or not? This is the technology world. We can tell if you're logging in or not, okay? And we know um, if you did or not. I am positive that you're going to keep up with your work. If you do get sick and you're not able to log on for a day or for two days, parents just call in like normal to your grade level and we will, um, Go ahead and mark that down and let your teachers know that um, your student isn't feeling well and isn't able to log on the computer, okay? Um, but I'm sure that we're gonna be able to check in. Uh, but if you do get sick, again, just normal procedures, call in and let us know. If you are looking for um, support with your guidance counselor, with your college counselor, with ESCs, with social workers, they are all available as well. Communicate with them, send them an email, they'll set up a time um, to connect with you and support you with anything that you need, uh, but they are on uh, line as well and they're checking email. As far as communicating, our expectations with our teachers are that they're gonna be online between 10, uh, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. A lot of them are gonna be online longer than that. But we wanna make sure that between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., they're checking their emails, they're checking Schoology so that they can provide feedback, uh, the necessary feedback to support our students. We also wanna make sure that we have a balance as well. One of the things with virtual learning is that it can overtake you, and we wanna make sure that we are not doing that on the student's end as well as the teacher's end. So some teachers may be communicating outside those hours, supporting, answering emails, However, we want to make sure that the expectation is 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and then it's optional outside of those hours um, that they can balance their life um, outside of school as well. So again, make sure that you're communicating on, on that end. If they have a live Zoom class during that time, be a little bit flexible because they may have to go over the, the 2 p.m. or before the 10 a.m., but again, you're not gonna have a problem. Our teachers are gonna communicate with you, um, but we're gonna balance your life and their life as well, all right? AP, if you're in an AP class, uh, we've been told that April 3rd, uh, they're gonna release the test dates for the AP exams. Um, but here's the bottom line, AP. College board, bring it on, because I know you are gonna rock those tests. You have worked way too hard. Your teachers have worked way too hard I have no doubt in my mind, they can give us a test anytime, any place, anywhere, and you are going to rock them. Good luck on those. Uh, I have no doubts whatsoever again, uh, but just bring it on College Board because I know you're going to do a great job. If you're a student that has um, uh, supports through Special School District or a, an IEP and a 504, your case manager um, through special school district, if they have not done so already, will be touching base with you to make sure that we support you in this learning environment um, as well as 504s. If you have a 504 and you need support, additional support, obviously your teachers are gonna be there, um, but also your grade level counselors and grade level principal will help you along the way uh, with those supports as well. So I know this is going on um, a little bit longer than anticipated. Um, let me leave you with two things. And I know there's, first of all, I know there's a lot more questions. I don't wanna overwhelm everyone. Um, I'll be checking in, whether it's with more Zoom calls or with emails, 
but really your teachers are gonna be checking in at this point. Um, and again, tell them thank you. Students, I know you've got this. Um, you are going to continue to rise to the occasion. Um, and here's what I'll leave you with. They can, they can lock the doors on us. They can tell us we can't come to the campus, but they can never take away being a pioneer. So once a pioneer, always a pioneer. Doesn't matter where, doesn't matter when, you're a pioneer. And you know I can't come on this and record anything without one last message of, it's a great day to be a pioneer. Take care everyone, hope to see everyone very, very soon.